Hey everybody, it's Debbie Terrio, your Beach Body Coach, with your fit tip of the day. Um, I have found lately, as you know, I'm a type 1 diabetic who's insulin dependent, and I found lately that I can't any longer eat the Joseph's pita breads that I love so much. Um, so if you don't have issues uh, with being a diabetic, by all means keep eating those. They're very good for you. They have flax and oat bran. Um, but I can't eat them and I have to eat very, very, very low carb. So out of, uh, you know, I, I kind of had to invent something that I could use in place of bread. Um, <clears throat> so I've kind of invented this recipe and I actually really like it. So I thought I'd share it with you if you're trying to eat very low carb as well. Um, and many of us could cut carbs out of our lives. I mean, not all of them, but you know, even if you're not a type 1 diabetic, um, you could certainly lower your carbs, I'm sure. So, I thought I'd share this recipe with you. It's very, very simple to do. You're going to take um, egg whites, and I buy them in the carton, uh, but you can just crack open some eggs. Take five egg whites and two um, of the yolks. So just two yolks, but five egg whites. Um, you're going to separate the two egg yolks out and set them aside. And you, with your beaters, you're going to bring the egg whites until they make stiff peaks, um, kind of like you're making meringue. Um, so you're going to bring that to stiff peaks, set it aside. With your two yolks, you're going to add um, some cream cheese to it. You can buy the light cream cheese, you can buy the free cream cheese, um, whatever is best for you. I buy the regular cream cheese or the light cream cheese because it's fairly low carb. Um, you're going to mix half of that container um, of your 8 ounce cream cheese container, so 4 ounces of cream cheese. You're going to take your beaters and mix it in with your two egg yolks. Okay, once that's all mixed in together, you're just going to fold that into your egg whites, your meringue mixture. You're going to fold it in. Don't overdo it because you'll break down your meringue or your egg white mixture. Just fold it in, put them in dollops on a cookie sheet, and then just kind of flatten them out. You want the size of about a hamburger bun or a little larger. Um, oh, I forgot. You're going to add um, a little bit of uh, bacon powder to the mixture as well, bacon powder. Um, so then you're going to put them on a cookie sheet, dollops of it on a cookie sheet, flatten them out so they're about the size of a hamburger bun or a little bit bigger. Bake them in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Okay? They're going to come out and they're going to look like this. And I hope you can see those. Okay? Can you see those? <laughs> um, and they're fabulous. I use these for hamburger buns. I use one of them for a hot dog bun. I make uh, pizzas on them. Just put your regular pizza toppings, turkey, pepperoni, some sauce. Um, I use these in place of any kind of bread. I cannot have any flour, whether it be wheat flour or I just can't do it. Um, my body can't do it. Um, so I use these in place of bread. I even made a fabulous dessert with these. I layered them, and in between the layers, I mixed uh, just a package of lemon jello, dumped it right into the Cool Whip, mixed it up. You don't make the jello, you just dump the powder into the Cool Whip, mix it up, and you make like a layer cake with these. It was fabulous. Um, people that don't normally eat healthy thought it was very good. Um, so that is your fit tip of the day. These are literally one carb each I believe and and probably even less than a carb each for these so um, you know you'd use two if you were using them for hamburger buns you could make a layer cake um, you can really do anything you want with them be creative if you think of some really creative ideas um, message me <laughs> I'd love to hear them because this is my bread replacement this is what I'm using in any instance that I would normally use bread or a pita bread or anything like that. So I hope you um, can get some use out of this. That's your fit tip of the day. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.